I wonder why it weighs our participants at the first challenge. Wow, is that lemonade? Looks like grandma can't wait to start cooking. She starts cutting the lemon into neat slices like this. We put them in a large glass, a little sugar. Whoa, take it easy, grandma. What did these lemons do to you? Calm down, it's alright. Add carbonated water. Great, now we're on the way. Some ice and mint. Good job, grandma. Now it's the chef's turn. Now I'll show you how to make real lemonade. By the way, according to my signature recipe, to begin with, thinly slice the cucumber, twist the slices, and throw them into a glass with ice. <laughs> what a fragrance. We add green tea to the glass, my favorite kind. Now we cut lime. We need to slice and lemonade and one slice as decoration. Decorate with cucumber and… Fresh mint. Oh. That's it. Perfect. Wow, how cool! Um, I got carried away with the soda. Wait a minute, and this is a good idea! Pour the soda into a glass. Oh yeah, berries are perfect! Add sugar, some sweetener. Now we're whipping it all up. Add the resulting mass to our soda. Mixing it up. Berry syrup. Even sweeter, even better! Let's decorate the lemonade. That's it! Good job, Jane! Just look at this lemonade. I think Mary will definitely like it. Or will she like her grandma's recipe more? Or maybe the chef's exquisite lemonade? I want to find out as soon as possible. Let's try, Mary! First, she tries the chef's lemonade. What? It looks like Mary didn't appreciate the taste of the lemonade at all. Oh. Unbelievable. Let's well, go. we're going further. Grandma's lemonade. Not bad. Woo. Only sister's lemonade remains. Okay. Would Mary really like it the most? <laughs> wow. We have a winner, yeah. And this is Jane. Congratulations on a well-deserved victory. <laughs> what? Wow, how many products? And what are we going to cook? Let's Fish? Go. Wow. <laughs> now let's see who's the most skilled in cooking the dish. Let's see, it looks like grandma decided not to waste time in vain. She immediately takes a piece of fish and puts it in the pan. Okay, let's try to repeat after grandma. Oh, what a smell. Okay, it looks like it will do. You can play my favorite game now. So it's time to turn the fish over. A little salt. No pepper. Lovely. Just lovely. Hmm. What? Yeah, it seems no one here knows how to cook fish. Well, never mind. Now I'll show you everything. To begin with, we need a little orange, some spices, and a little oil. That's it. We roll the fish in our miracle breading what? and frying it. Oh, I almost forgot. We'll need all this. Yeah, perfect. We throw it all in the mixer. A little orange juice for the taste. Now it's time to whip our sauce. Believe me, you have hardly tasted something so delicious. Meanwhile, our fish has fried properly. We put it on a plate. Now my favorite is serving. This is how we serve fish in my restaurant. Lime and our signature sauce. That's it! Finally some greenery! Perfect! Oh, girl, did you decide to start a fire? Oh, you need to be more careful, Jane. Look what happened to your piece of fish. But there's no time left at all. We'll have to serve fish like this. It doesn't look very good, to put mildly. What can be said about grandma's fish? Perfect. And finally, the chef's dish. Yeah, such a serving would be appreciated in any restaurant. What? But Mary appreciated. We'll find out. It seems she immediately put a dislike to Jane's dish. Now grandma's dish. Very tasty. Oh. But wait. You haven't tasted the fish from the chef yet. Ah. <laughs> oh, it seems the restaurant food is not to Mary's taste at all. Sorry, chef, but this time Mary's heart was conquered by her grandmother. How sweet. <laughs> It's time for the third round. Let's see. A cupcake? Mm, which of our participants is the most experienced baker? Grandma, of course, knows a lot about baking. She immediately starts cooking the dough. Look at this speed. Wow. Great. Grandma added all the necessary ingredients. It's time to whisk. Beat the dough properly. And of course, we're without cupcake molds. How beautiful they are. Carefully pour the dough into the molds. Like this. It remains only to put the cupcakes in the oven. Great, great job, Grandma! Now we just have to wait. 
<laughs> and how's the chefs doing? It seems her dough is almost ready. Now she puts in the berries. Wow! Mix the berries together with the dough. How beautiful! What's next, chef? It's time to get the molds. We pour a beautiful red mass into a large cupcake mold. And sending it to the oven. Perfect! Wow, how cool! What do I have here? <laughs> uh, how boring it is to knead the dough. An idea! I recently saw a life hack. Here it is. That's just brilliant! Can I make a cupcake that easy? Wow! And it will turn out so cool! Yeah! Well, that's Woo! settled. Let's go. <laughs> now let's see how this life hack will work. Add cacao powder and a little chocolate syrup to the milk. Great, now we're whipping. The resulting mass is poured into a glass. The oven won't work for this recipe. We need to find something else. A microwave. Well, we put the glass in the microwave. Now we just have to wait. Oh, and grandma's cupcakes seem to be ready. What an appetizing crust. And the smell. Put the cupcakes on a plate. A little powdered sugar on top. And… I think the chef's cupcake is ready too. We get this treat out of the oven. And of course, we're without branded serving from the chef. Oh, so much whipped cream. What could be better than a combination of berries and whipped cream? Now it's time for Jane's cupcakes. I hope they're so delicious. And what a smell. She should definitely appreciate it. I'm sure my granddaughter will make the right choice. My cupcakes are the best. <gasps> Where should I start? Okay. A cupcake and a mug? Weird, but let's try. Mmm, so-so. No. Okay, what else is there? Let's try these. Hmm, not bad. But I'm not thrilled. Wow! Wow, what a huge cupcake! <gasps> Can't wait to try it. How delicious! Yes, this is the winner! Oh. The chef's cupcake turned out to be the best. No critic can resist it. <gasps> There's so many products here. What are we cooking this time? Soup? Wow! And what is your favorite soup? Write in the comments and maybe in the next videos, our heroes will cook exactly your favorite dish. It looks like the chef has seriously taken up cooking soup. Look at how many different ingredients she has. Well, no soup can be made without water, right? Now a little cream and butter. That's it. Add some spices. <laughs> Whoa, take it easy, chef. It looks like the ingredients for the soup will never run out. Now there are also shrimps. Looks like Jane is having too much fun. Let's look at her. Hey, it's time for you to get serious about cooking. Grandma has already cut all the necessary vegetables. It looks like mushroom soup is waiting for us. Surely Grandma collected these mushrooms herself. How cool. Add cream and stir. Super. What a great soup grandma has! Mm, however, I didn't remember anything. Okay. And then they sort of put no. this… No, um, maybe this? <gasps> not that, but not that. <gasps> oh, is this what you need? Jeez. We throw it there. Yeah, now we're on the way. Perfect, let's mix it. <laughs> it's not that hard to cook soup! Now let's throw some carrots. Great. Wow, what a cool thing! Let's go! Let's stir it. I think it's fine. The soup is just perfect. By the way, my exclusive recipe. What do you think, Grandma? What kind of amateurs? The last touch remains. Bola! Whose soup will win Mary's heart? Jane's turned out very well. And grandma's mushroom soup looks just wonderful, but the chef's exquisite soup looks no worse. Hmm. It's up to you, Mary. Okay. Well, let's start with this one. It smells strange. <laughs> Ugh, are these mushrooms? I hate mushrooms! Next one. Hmm, something interesting. No. No, that's not it. Now the third oh. soup. That looks a complete mess. Let's try it. Whoa! This is the best soup I've ever had! Yes, it's the winner! Wow, Jane, congratulations! <laughs> so the heroes have a responsible task to feed the baby. And what does she want? The baby wants french fries. Hmm? Nothing complicated. 
will do everything. I know the recipe. It seems that you need to pour oil. I'll pour more. It'll be fatter and tastier. So for sure, everything will fry well. I'll fill up the whole pan with some oil. Let's turn it on and let's start. I'll use the whole pack because there are never too many of the french fries. Hey. Granddaughter! What are you doing? Oh! It's burning! We need to put out the fire quickly! Oh no 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 no! It's not like the recipe on YouTube! Oh. Almost burned down the kitchen and all of us! Oh. Better learn from grandma! Now grandma will show you how to do it. We'll take quite a bit of oil. Turn down the heat a little and put the potatoes in. So it'll be perfect. I'll toss it around and put it on a plate. What? Oh, how well it turned out. It's all for my granddaughter. It remains to add the most delicious ketchup. French fries and ketchup are the perfect combination. My granddaughter will definitely like it. And how many calories are in this dish? I'll show you how it should be. We get rid of excess oil. Then we wrap the potatoes in a piece of fragrant bacon and twist the roll. Just like that. Add a drop of cranberry gluten-free jam from Duro's on top. Just like that. And add some rosemary on top. The masterpiece is ready. I've come up with something better. Banana marshmallow trolley is so similar to potatoes. And if you add Hershey's strawberry mm -hmm. syrup, it'll be just like potatoes with ketchup. But it tastes so sweet. That's what my little sister will really like. Finally, everything is ready. And the baby has already been waiting for her food. The dish from my grandmother was the first to attract attention. Classic french fries and ketchup. It looks really delicious. The baby obviously liked it. I wonder how she would like a dish for real gourmets. The chef took an unusual recipe, but it was not appreciated. And there was a gift from my sister. It looks like potatoes and ketchup, but this… Yes! It's a sweet marshmallow with strawberry sauce. Deep and eat. Hmm. It remains to choose the winner. A dish from grandma. Yes, I won. Oh, it hurts. What will the baby want to eat now? Oh, she wants to eat sushi. What is this? I don't know how to cook it. Show grandma what to do. First, you need to boil the rice in a special way. I'll do it. Grandma knows how to cook rice. Ah, <laughs> uh, sushi with nasty seaweed. I'd rather do something sweet again. Or sweet and sour. Let's take the sweet and sour tongues. Add whipped cream instead of sauce. Rub a marmalade eye and a few marmalades from Haribo. How big and colorful they turn out. Have you ever seen sushi like that? This is just absolutely perfect. Now you need to take a sheet of nori and cut it in half. It's all dry, it's breaking. How did you do that? Because I'm a professional, Grandma. I'm gonna cut some fish. Perfect slices. Put some rice on the mat. And some nori. I twist it with the mat. Put some fish on top. Cut it. And that's it. Classic Philadelphia roll with ginger and wasabi is ready. <laughs> Granny can't make these rolls of yours. They don't keep their shape. Bingo! I have an idea. I'm just gonna cut some cucumbers. Get rid of the center and put rice in it. Perfect. <laughs> now it's time for the baby to try it. Let's start with these. Sushi from the chef look perfect. And it tastes incredible. What a big and bright roll. And very, very tasty. So delicious that she immediately chose them as the winner. This time, a sweet gift from my sister overcame everyone. Oh, you haven't tried mine. Hey, grandma, wake up. The granddaughter wants something delicious again. She wants to drink a chocolate cocktail for dessert. 
is my favorite recipe. We'll need some ice cubes. I'll pour more chocolate sauce into the jar. Starbucks milk chocolate to the brim. And I'll create some milk foam with a hand mixer. Oh, um, sorry, Grandma. You got too close. What is this bag in Grandma's hands? Instant coffee three in one? Is she really going to give this to her granddaughter? Yeah, but it seems that Grandma herself likes it. Now add the whipped cream. I often cook myself such a recipe. By the way, don't forget about yourself. Sprinkle the Oreo cookie crumbs on top. Put the cookie on. Such a cocktail should be drunk through a straw. That's it! The perfect chocolate milkshake. Who cooks it like that? That's a horror! I have made coffee sweet drinks more than once. We need fresh coffee beans. I measure everything to the gram. I grind the grains into fine crumbs. Then I brew it in French press. The coffee will be perfect. Pour it into the cup. And adding some milk. I'm gonna create some foam out of it. I certainly won't spray anyone because I'm unprofessional. And the snowflake decoration. Perfect. Oh my! It's time to try the drinks. The hand itself reaches for a beautiful glass. It's a wonderful cocktail. Also delicious cookies on top. Awesome. It's perfect! Hmm. What cannot be said about the instant coffee? Grandma wanted to poison her granddaughter. It's impossible to drink. Oh. Coffee foam from the chef with a pleasant aroma. But the hmm. taste is nothing unusual. The baby chooses the beautiful cocktail. Yes, keep it up, sis. You've won again. The next task is for you to drum roll make some waffles. Okay. What? What is it? And I know the recipe. Break the eggs. Add sugar. You can have more so the waffles will taste even better. And get in the way, get in the way, get in the way. <sighs> oh, I'm tired of doing that. Perhaps that's enough. And now we can add some flour. How much is needed? Oh, uh, Grandma, I'm sorry, I got you dirty again. More flour, more waffles. Uh, maybe you don't need so much flour. I'll put the excess back. It won't work out that way. But you will definitely like my old grandmother's proven recipe. The dough came out perfect. <laughs> Here! Now you can pour the dough into the waffle iron. And I'm almost done too. Perfect rosy waffles will come soon. <laughs> what are you feeding the baby? No. It is necessary to eat healthy food. We won't need sugar. We better take zucchini. Perfect. Now we're gonna add some eggs. Put flour. And we're gonna create some dough. I'll do it quickly with a mixer. How ugly it looks! And let's try our super healthy waffles. <sighs> They're almost done. Yummy! Perfect! I'll put it on a plate. Add some strawberry, whipped cream, and berries. I love how it turned out. And I'm gonna put some traditional maple syrup. Pour it all over. Oh my God. And a piece of butter. <laughs> Lovely. Oh my. Oh, the waffles are done. Green is the color of health. There's not enough beauty in this presentation. I'll make the count's rooms and more greenery on top. Bellissimo. <laughs> oh, she's back with her proper nutrition. Here, granddaughter. These waffles look exactly like she wanted them to. But was it this unusual feeling? <gasps> An eggshell! You have to be careful when you cook. And what is this green color? Grass on top again? Steal a piece is worth a try. A very small one. <laughs> it smells good. But that still tastes disgusting. What to expect from these waffles? Wow, it seems that the baby really liked them. Here's the winner. 
Hooray! They're mine! I did it! Hmm. Let's start with a simple one. Cook me some french fries! Easy. It will be done. I just want to learn how to cook. While everyone is spilling potatoes, I'd better hit the butter. By the way, there is never much of it. Well, the butter is almost boiling, which means that it's time to pour out the ready-made slices of french fries. No! Stop! Ugh, it's splashing! Come on! Help! What are you doing? Because of you, we were almost bombarded by boiling oil. The oil should be poured carefully. Then fry the potatoes evenly. Cut them. Nothing difficult. Okay. The french fries are ready. There's only a little sauce left to add. <sighs> fries? In my opinion, this is okay. an ordinary fried potato. And I'll make real french fries. But that's not all. Now I'm going to make a real delicacy out of ordinary potatoes. I'll need bacon, some sauce, and of course, sweet rosemary. Mm, smells so good. Oh, I haven't lost everything yet. Why not use marmalade potato? They say if you dip it in strawberry syrup, it'll be even better. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll start trying with potatoes in the middle. Mmm, Grandma, this is very nice. Oh, ew! I can't stand rosemary. I'm sorry, Madame Chef, but I didn't like it. But I appreciate the idea of marmalade potatoes. Brother, you're doing great. Now I don't know who to choose. Let it be, grandmother. Hooray! This time this task is more difficult. You need to cook sushi. Come on! It'll be done. According to the best recipe. What? Sushi? Sushi? Yeah, I have no idea what sushi is in the countryside. What is that? I'm going to make sushi that you never dreamed of. What? Ordinary sushi is boring. Another thing is sushi made out of different candies. Instead of cream cheese, there will be delicious whipped cream inside. And of course, gummies. Perfect. We must not forget about the chocolate syrup. <laughs> An interesting idea. I will also have sushi ready very soon. The main thing is to repeat very carefully after the chef. Nothing complicated yet. Nothing complicated. So let's see what disgusting sushi you have. <sighs> I can add sauce too. You don't have to be super smart for that. What is that? Avocado? The most important thing is to twist everything perfectly, which you, Grandma, certainly won't succeed at. Ta-da! The perfect sushi is almost ready. What a horror! I didn't think your sushi was so ugly! Wow. It's time to wrap sushi mm. in salmon. Mm. The main thing is to add a lot of fish cut into chunky pieces. And we must not forget about soy sauce. Hmm. Fish, you say? Okay. It will be done. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> I hope it turned out delicious. <gasps> Whoa! Oh no! The chef's sushi looked more attractive. What? Bingo! I can't put this whore in front of my granddaughter, but I have an idea. Why not make cucumber sushi? It's both delicious and healthy. Oh, really? And disgusting. What is that? Cucumber is an ideal ingredient for sushi. You just need to put more rice into it. It doesn't look good. Wait a little, I'm not done. Ta-da! Look what a beauty! What is this? 
this? What? I've never seen cucumber and rice sushi. They don't even have fish. I'm not tasting it. But I will try sweet sushi okay. with pleasure. Hooray! Mmm! Delicious. But it's not satisfying at all. The last candidate is left. Wow. Here they are. Real sushi. Mmm. Mm, so good. Madame Chef, you have one. Thank you, but it was obvious. Oh, no! I hope each of you can make a waffle. I heard that you need to start with dough. I think I won't have any problems with it. Okay. We'll add some sugar. Yeah! Mix it up a little. Perfect. It's time to add flour. Wow. Oh, oh no. I think I got something in my nose. <laughs> oh. Wow. Here's a waffle. <laughs> it's okay. This flour is enough for me to make delicious waffle. Oh, no. You just need to stir everything well. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so now my finished dough can be poured into a waffle iron. Let's go. These will be the most delicious waffles in my sister's life. Mmm. <sighs> the dough turned out very tasty, and most importantly, without eggshells. I hope it will make a decent waffle. Everyone added sugar, but I know that sugar is harmful. So I'll add a whole ripe eggplant instead. And I'll make dough out of it. Let's do it. It will be absolutely perfect. Perfect. And now we'll add some eggs. And of course, some flour. Let's mix it up well. And add some greens for the taste. It even sounds disgusting. But this dough is much better than yours. Mm, what? And now you can pour it into a waffle iron. Just like that. And let's time it so we don't burn it. Yeah, timing is pretty good. Oh! It seems the waffle is a little burnt! No, no. Uh, hot! Hot! But that's okay. Thank I will hide its not very pleasant appearance with whipped cream, some berries, and chocolate syrup. Just like that. It's awesome! And I will traditionally pour maple syrup on my waffles. A piece of butter will also not be extra. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so yummy. <laughs> and I will decorate my already healthy waffles with healthy herbs. Hello! Let's try it. I'll start with this one. Oh, ew. Your waffle is kind of overcooked. I won't eat that. And this one? Ew! This waffle tastes like grass and eggplant! I hate it! Disgusting! And this one is pretty good! Oh yes! That's just what I wanted! Grandma, you're winning this round! Hooray! Finally, I want to drink a cup of delicious coffee! Wow! It'll be done! <laughs> Easy! I just came up with a brilliant idea! Hot coffee is boring. Today, cold coffee, which is frappuccino, is infection. You need to throw ice in a large jar. Then you need to add delicious chocolate syrup there. And of course, we must not forget about the coffee itself. I have it from Starbucks, by the way. And a cocktail of Twix chocolates will definitely not be extra. I'll blend it up a little and use it instead of milk. And I think I'll make a more classic coffee. 
I know that my granddaughter loves it. <sighs> Ta -da! And this is the end. You need to add whipped cream and some chocolate sweets. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Oreo cookies. Mmm. Mmm. So yummy. And a candy bar. Of course, we must not forget about the straw. Oh, well. It's my turn to make coffee. With the help of a scale, I will measure the right amount of grains. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I will manually grind them to be the desired state. Look and learn. Hmm. And only now, I will pour boiling water to the coffee. The coffee is actually made that way? Perfect. <sighs> now, I will pour coffee into the cup. Mm, and I'll blend the milk on my own as well. Mm -hmm. You should also not forget about the appearance. Look what a beauty! Wow! <laughs> hmm. Um, I'll start with the middle one. Grandma, I'll always recognize this coffee. And it's time to admit that I don't like it at all. Oh. <laughs> okay. The first mug looks more pleasant. Delicious, but a little bitter for me. No. The last candidate left to win. Mmm, that's really cool. Brother, you win this round. Yeah! 